Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Peaches from Love Is Your Healthy Life and I'm filming this little brief um, video uh, clip indoors today because I don't know, I looked at some of my past videos and for some odd reason when I film um, outdoors my face looks kind of reddish and so I was telling my husband I think I just need to get a new camera so um, perhaps for Christmas I'll get a new camera and it'll be a lot clearer um, I mean the actual garden looks pretty good but I don't know I'm probably due for a new camera of my polytunnel adventure where I installed uh, my second polytunnel and this one I actually installed all by myself um, except for putting on the cover well I am gonna give you a tour of my polytunnel and this is my tomato polytunnel and I really love it well I'll be doing more videos throughout the winter months to show you how exactly how I'm pollinating my tomatoes um, I'll be using uh, electric toothbrush uh, which probably is the best way at least for me anyways so I'll be showing you how I do that well let me show you a few clips of what's growing on in my tomato polytunnel okay guys so I'm getting ready to install my second greenhouse and my first one is right over there and I'm gonna cover the tomatoes right over here with the second greenhouse and also bring in a couple of more of my fruit trees and now I'm gonna leave below a manufacturer video that uh, totally is awesome and it really helped me install it because the directions that you get is right here basically it's a diagram and that's it and that's basically all you really need but um, I don't know it just it just helps to see someone else put it together okay so it comes in a box like this and so what I suggest is that you take everything out make sure you have all your parts and just lay them out like I have here right over here and that's it and then you can look at the video and it'll help you to install the greenhouse and also the little uh, pegs I guess stakes that they give you to hold down the tarp um, are so tiny I had to get my own and they come in a pack of 50 just let me show you what those are so this is the pack of 50 that I'm gonna be using to hold the, the uh, tarp down and this is what they give you this little tiny tiny really thin ones I mean let me just take one out to show you the difference so this is the one right here that came with a greenhouse super super thin I mean I can almost bend it so and this is the one I'm gonna leave a link to this one right here and let me just show you the difference in the thickness you see that this one's a lot thicker well guys I'm picking off a few of these kale leaves for some soup that I'm making uh, for dinner well actually it was dinner yesterday, so we're having it again today. And um, so I'm picking off a few of these leaves. Wow, this kale plant is amazing. It's about four feet tall, and I just love it. Gets me lots and lots of kale. And this time of the year, you don't have to worry about any bugs on the leaves. So it's totally amazing. Just look at how bountiful this is. The leaves aren't really huge, but they're a nice size. You can put in soups or salads. And I actually like them this size. They're not bitter or anything like that. So this is my kale tree. And this is what it looks like. So we're gonna go inside.
And it's really easy. And this is the inside of the polytunnel. So let me give you a little tour. So as you walk in, you'll see my pomegranate tree. Now I know it's going to drop all its leaves, but I think that's what they're supposed to do. And there's some flowers and my banana tree and another banana tree. And there's my temperature control. It's at night right now. And it's saying it's 65 degrees in here. Um, that's some uh, mandevel flowers that I bought in. Here's another plant right here. And this is a lemon tree. This is a Meyer lemon tree that did give me tons of lemons. There's a pumpkin, a Cinderella pumpkin that I harvested. And some gladioses. Not gladiosus. I think these are... Oh, I forgot the name of this flower. Um, and have some begonias right here. Geraniums. This is some geraniums that my husband bought in. He loves the geraniums. And... Then as you walk in, the tomatoes are doing really well. Uh, some of them have flowers on them, actually. So, I'm gonna have to pollinate these by hand. And this is my sugar rush apple tree right here. Some more begonias. And this is what it looks like from this side. So yeah, I'm really happy that I was able to bring in all my fruit trees. And it's a cherry tree right over here in this corner and I have a heater to come on at night on a timer system so yeah this is what it looks like and I reinforced this one as well with the little post uh, garden post and I have to put up more that I have over there for back here and I'm happy because I constructed this all by myself. Um, I had no help. Did it all alone. Except for at the end, I did, um, my husband did help me uh, put on the actual cover. Because that was a little difficult. So yeah, this is the poly tunnel. And a lot of condensation builds up in the tunnel. So I'm researching how to... Um, eliminate so much condensation but you know what it's not that big of a deal because I'm growing plants in here and they actually love it so I'm not trying to keep it dry in here uh, except for maybe the pumpkins right there I probably gonna move those indoors I just picked those so I'm um, just letting those kind of cure a little bit outside uh, before I bring them in because they can't be moist I'm not really ready to cut this open because I still have some pumpkins from last year in the freezer so um, I won't be cutting this open for a while well, maybe for a few months several months anyway this is what it looks like inside my polytunnel